you do a certain level of cleansing for the elements, then you attain to what's called as bhuta siddhi. That means you have mastery over the elements. If you have mastery over the elements, you not only have mastery over the body, over the mind, over the very creation. What you call as my body is just a manifestation of five elements. Earth, water, fire, air and space. If you know how to organize these five elements properly, if you know how to keep these five elements within yourself, then there is nothing more to life in terms of health, well-being, perception, knowing, everything, enlightenment. Everything is handled if only you know how to keep these five elements properly. Seventy-two percent of your water, body is water. If this seventy-two percent of water in your body becomes sweet, it would be… you would be quite a wonderful person, isn't it? There is substantial evidence today to show that water has a great sense of memory. Everything that happens around a body of water is in some way stored in the water molecules. It is being referred to as a fluid computer among the five elements. Water acquires the greatest significance because seventy-two percent of this body is water. If we take sufficient care about the water that we consume, not just in terms of its purity, it being bacteria-free and those kind of things, but the way the water is kept, in what kind of container you keep it, how you keep it, how you touch it, how you approach it, because there is substantial scientific evidence today to show you that a thought an emotion, a touch, these things can change the molecular structure of the water and greatly alter the way water behaves within your system. So, one needs to understand, you are not dealing with the commodity, you are dealing with life-making material. Water is life. It is just that right now it's outside of you. So before it enters your system, how you treat it? If you keep the water in a container which is metallic, preferably copper or an alloy of copper, and every day if you wash it with an organic substance and keep the water in a place where it is not touched by other smells and other substances, there is sufficient space around it, and when you approach it, if you can just hold this vessel with your hands with a certain sense of gratitude and reverence because this is life-making material and then consume it, you will see it will do wonders within your system. Healthfulness and equanimity will be a natural consequence of this. Another twelve percent is earth. The soil that you walk upon has a certain sense of intelligence and memory. So even if you happen to live in a concrete jungle, it is important to keep in touch with the earth upon which you live. Create ways for yourself to somehow remain in touch with the soil or the earth upon which you live, that part of the earth. With your bare hands and bare feet, See, particularly the palms and the soles, if they come in touch with the earth on a daily basis, at least for a few minutes, 
a certain harmonizing of the physiological process will happen just being in contact with the earth. If you spend at least a few minutes in your garden barefooted, it's important that you take them out at least once a month, far away enough from the city where nature is in reasonably pure state, where they can climb a small hill or walk in a forest or swim in a river, something natural to be in touch with nature and to do something where breath will be in a dynamic state. This is not just for aerobic exercise, because constant exchange of air is happening from within and without, and the very intelligence in the body will take care of this, that when it senses the air is pure and alive, the way the body breathes is different, you can notice this, and the exchange will happen, cleansing will happen within the system, because breath per se is only one to two percent of the air transaction. The rest is happening in many other ways. So if you remain in pure air, it's important that you bring breath to a dynamic state with a certain activity. You don't have to do too vigorous an activity, just enough to see that you're breathing deep enough, slightly deeper than normal is happening to you for a period of time and especially for growing children, this becomes very important because this will greatly enhance the body's integrity and strength. But on a daily basis, if you're not able to take yourself out within the house, you can do a simple yogic practice called Nadi Shuddhi to cleanse the breath. Ninety percent. Another four percent is fire. What kind of fire burns within you? Is it the fire of greed, hatred, resentment, anger, lust, love, compassion? If you take care of that, once again, your physical and mental well-being is well taken care of. You become an equanimous and exuberant being. A simple process you can do to cleanse the fire within you is get some sunlight every day. Fortunately, you cannot contaminate the sunlight, though we have contaminated every other element, sunlight has remained pure, make best use of that. If you wish to use fire, you can light a fire with an organic substance like straw or firewood without any oil and stand facing the fire with your hands open and keep your eyes open for three minutes, then stand with your back to it, exposing your spine for three minutes. This will cleanse your aura and bring about a new sense of resurgence in the system. This is to rekindle and reconnect the fire within with the fires outside. This is the basis of all fire-based rituals in the East. If having a fire is not very practical for you, at least a lamp with vegetable oils or ghee, you light a lamp and be around this lamp, first face the lamp and sit and then turn around and sit so that the fire element within you gets rekindled. Another six percent is akash or the space. Today, once again, phenomenal amount of research has gone into what is Akash. They're talking about what's called as Akashic intelligence. Your ability to sit here is simply because the Akashic energy, the space is holding you in place. So the highest intelligence in creation is being… has been recognized as the space. It is doing things which you cannot imagine is throwing up creation just like that. So there is a way to treat it within you and outside of you. So knowing this, the five elements, we produced a system through which you can take charge of the five elements within you. If these five elements are in your control, just whole life process is in your control. The very process of birth, living and death is one hundred percent in your control. If 
you take these five elements into your charge one simple process you can do to find more access to akash or the akashic intelligence is after sunrise before the sun crosses a 30 degree angle you look up at the sky once and bow down to akash for holding you and this planet in place after the sun crosses 30 degrees sometime during the day any time look up and bow down again after the sunset within the 40 minutes after sunset look up at the sky and once again bow down you are not bowing to any imaginary gods up there just to the etheric space around us which is holding everything that we are in place if you get the akash to cooperate with your life energies life will happen in magical ways an intelligence that you have never thought possible will become yours